Hi, how you doing? We're going to make a very simple leek, mushroom and pasta dish. We're going to use uh, some various ingredients which you can see on the screen. Uh, there's really not much you need to put into this dish. But it's very tasteful and it's very quick. You can replace the bacon if you don't want the bacon and make it into a simple vegetarian dish. I really hope you enjoy this. Okay, take some olive oil, or any oil will do, but olive oil is always very nice. Uh, put that into a nice warm pan. At the same time, get another pan on with uh, water in it and bring it to the boil. We're going to use that for our pasta. Once the olive oil is up to uh, heat, place in your leeks. Also followed by your mushroom, your garlic. If you're adding bacon uh, or any other peppers or anything like that, Add all that at the same time. You're going to give that a really good stir and just keep it frying, keep that sizzle going uh, for the next like five minutes. Once it starts to break down, you see some juices in there, we're going to we're gonna lower it down. Make sure you add a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt or whatever you want for your flavor. I like to add a little bit of extra seasoning, so as you can see, I'm using uh, some special uh, seasoning that I've, I've acquired. Okay, then we're going to add some vegetable stock. So, uh, boil a kettle, add a couple of stock cubes. I find vegetable works really well with this. By this time, your boiling water should be ready for you to drop your pasta sheets in. Depending on how many you're feeding, I tend to do one sheet per person. Um, give it a little stir there just so the pasta doesn't get stuck together. In the meantime your vegetable stock should be nice and ready. Then we're going to add the stock into the mushroom dish. Um, we're going to give that a really good nice stir. Just keep stirring it. Keep everything moving really nicely. If you want to add some more herbs please do. Always ensure you're tasting what you're doing as well. Okay. Um, then we're going to add the cream. You can use either double cream or you can use single. Uh, if you uh, don't really want too much of the fat contents, go with the single. But the double cream really works well. Give that a really good stir. That will thicken up the sauce. Uh, this is really your cream sauce. Once again, if you don't want the cream, you don't need to use it. But I'll suggest if you're just using uh, the stock, add a bit of flour. In this case, we're now going to add on the tarragon, just for a bit of flavouring. Just add that in, give that once again a nice good stir, get everything nice and thick. Turn your um, turn your hob down to simmer, put the lid on, and leave it to sit for about another three four minutes. Once you take the lid off that should be cooked perfectly take your pasta out give it a little pinch make sure it's got a little bit of softness to it and lay it flat on the uh, on the pasta dish uh, do that with each pieces and literally once that's on you're going to let it sit for another two three minutes you don't need to leave it long because the pasta is already cooked okay the best part of cooking is the serving up so we're now going to take some of the sauce which is the mushroom the leeks the garlic if you've added a little bit of bacon that's all gonna be in there those flavors are gonna be lovely a little bit of tarragon as well really really nice flavor once we've served up enough we're going to add one of the pasta sheets on top which is more than enough uh, for a single serving I would also suggest just to garnish it with a little bit more mushrooms on top, a little bit of the tarragon, and if you really want to, maybe some cheese, some mozzarella, something like that would go down really well. Okay. I've actually added a little bit of homemade garlic bread. Literally, it was bread that I did earlier. I added a little bit of garlic onto it, put it in the oven, left it for about four or five minutes. Absolutely touches it off lovely. Hope you enjoy. 